The Battle Sisters need help in 10th edition. It is August 2023, hopes and prayers for the September points update. But we're exploiting our rules today to get the absolute best out of our army special rule. Miracle dice have to be earned. We don't just get them handed to us like the Trixie Eldari. They have foresight when they should have four arms. No, wrong faction. Scratch that. They have foresight when they should have absolute faith in the God Emperor of Mankind granting you good miracle dice. But the God Emperor also likes to test his most loyal ladies and might give you bad miracle dice. Ones and twos, which are not much use. So here's the situation. It is turn two. Your squads of three Arcoflagellants have been wiped out, which gives you miracle dice. You have battle sisters on three objectives. Each objective generates a miracle dice. So it is possible to chain a unit across multiple objectives. And then you would hold them because holding objectives is per OC per model in range. You no longer have to declare which objective the unit is in range of. That was a ninth edition thing. Not a great plan because it leaves two objectives that it's pretty easy to push you off. Anyway, miracle dice. You've got a bunch of miracle dice and they're all really weak. How will we fix this? We could feed them into our palatines to cause mortal wounds in combat. Yes, do that. But you could also make every single miracle dice a six. It just takes a couple of units. Ingredient one, the triumph of St. Catherine. The simulacrum of the Ebon Chalice lets you perform multiple acts of faith, important. It is an aura, so it can affect a lot of different units. And the next ingredient we need is the very cheap 35 point Dialogus. They can join most infantry units, Retributors, Dominions, Battle Sister Squad, Sacrosants, and they have stirring rhetoric. Each time this model's unit performs an act of faith, the result of one of those miracle dice that is used in the act of faith is first changed to a six. So first of all, I need to point out that the wording of this does suggest that we can normally use multiple miracle dice for an act of faith, not charge rolls or battle shock tests explicitly, but you could use two miracle dice to make two hits with a multi-melter, for example. It is debated. I have a video for that, which I have linked at the end, so comments relating to how miracle dice work and how you interpret it are best on that video. So if you're using two miracle dice to make two hits, under the dialogus, one of them would become a six. At least we don't have it as bad as Tau players. That is like a fun thing worth quickly exploring. I mean type two fun, where we're not really having fun, we're just enjoying the chaos and confusion. Their army special rule lets them have an observer unit make a shooting attack of a guided unit much better. It seems like this lets you pair up units in your army to shoot better. One of the pair is the observer, one is the guided unit, and that's it. But an interpretation is to chain it as far as you can across the army. So if you have unit A observing for unit B, the guided unit, unit B shoots. Then unit B acts as the observer for unit C because of an interpretation to the rules that you are still eligible to shoot if you have fired your guns because you're only officially ineligible to shoot, those like exact words, if you advanced or fell back or are in engagement range. And while the rule stops observer units from being guided, it doesn't explicitly stop guided units from being observers. There's even more shenanigans with the rule related to having assault weapons and pistol, letting you be eligible to shoot even if you advance or you're in close combat, relating to where the full stops are placed in those particular rules. But we're already doing too much mental gymnastics for me to think that any of this was intended. If doing it as a pair with a penalty if you don't fire at the spotted unit seemed a really weak rule, Welcome to 10th edition. In fact, welcome to Battle Sisters. Our strongest anti-tank weapon is a stick, where the holy trinity of Melter, Flamer and Bolt Gun is replaced with grenades, tank shock and dying. So for the greater good rule, I know that's how they do it at tournaments, but when I talked to knight players at tournaments, they had been using Lalo the Tyrant to reroll all hit rolls and wound rolls of one, not just a single dice. Games Workshop has since made it more explicit, so I would never take tournament interpretations as gospel. Okay, we're now done pointing out the rules somersaults with other factions, now it's time for the rules backflip with our own faction. However you interpret Miracle Dice, we now have our Battle Sister unit with a Dialogus, and the unit is within the aura range of the Triumph of St. Catherine, which chose to use the Simulacrum of the Emon Chalice. So, we can now use a Miracle Dice to hit with a Melter Gun. It becomes a six as per the Dialogus. Then since we're firing O at a vehicle, no longer what Melter Guns are good against, we perform another Act of Faith. As per the Simulacrum of the Ebon Chalice, we can do this multiple times. And as this is a new Act of Faith, the Wound Roll becomes a six. Thankfully the enemy failed their save. And so we do another Act of Faith to do six damage, plus two from the Melter keyword for being within six inches. You may think, neat. But we're not done. We have more units in range of the Triumph, and they too have the inexpensive Dialogus. 
inexpensive in points. Money, very expensive for one model. So we'll do this all again, a double backflip. And with enough miracle dice and another unit in range, a triple backflip. There, every single miracle dice that we have just used was a six. Was my exhausted attempt to get the most out of miracle dice entertaining? Educational? A reason to run crying to your partner and say, it's going to be okay. Bon Carmen has saved the sisters. If so, do please consider subscribing and dropping some pennies in my tip jar on Ko-fi. It's like Patreon, but you don't have to sign up to anything or log in. It's linked in the description. Contributions towards my second edition style Battle Sisters army, including Goblin Green bases, is greatly appreciated. I couldn't afford it at the time, and Warhammer models and paint continue to be expensive. All that is left is a calm discussion of our army special rule. That is, of course, a completely accurate description of this next video. My darlings and viewers, have a great day of Miracle Dice.